Up next, we're joined by Golf Magazine Top 100 teacher Gail Peterson with a quick tip to handle uneven lies. Hi, Gail here. I've got some good news and some bad news for you today. The bad news is that we practice on level lies, but during a round of golf, we're usually on uneven lies. The good news is that I can take the same golf swing and just match my body to the slope so my, my swing will be along the slope. So here I am on a downhill lie, and the downhill lie tends to de-loft the club, so I need to use more loft. The normal loft of this 8-iron has this amount of loft, but on a downhill lie, the, the slope de-lofts the club, and the ball goes lower. With the downhill lie, my ball will tend to go a little bit right, so I need to use more loft and aim slightly left, and then I need to match my body to the slope so that my swing will be along the slope. I'm going to make a practice swing, and the practice swing will tell me where I should position the golf ball in reference to my feet and stance. So I'm matching my body to the slope, I'm practice swinging, I'm seeing where this divot occurred in reference to my feet, and then I'm positioning the golf ball there, and then I'm trying to swing at a speed that I stay in balance. So again, I'm going to match my body to the slope. My right shoulder will be high, my left shoulder will be low. I'm going to position the golf ball where my practice swing told me to position it. And then I'm going to swing at a speed that I can stay in balance and along this slope. So remember, on the downhill lie, use more loft, match your body to the slope, and swing at a speed that you stay in balance. When we return to Inside Golf Magazine, Golf Magazine Top 100 teacher Peter Krause will give you a new way to think about your swing. Plus, we'll take you inside the lab of one of the most popular club makers in the U.S. with a visit to Titleist. Stay tuned.